French young gun Esteban Ocon is showing his talent at Alpine and is ready to rise up after a tough retirement in Azerbaijan. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Esteban Ocon has found his groove at Alpine, despite retiring at the last race in Azerbaijan, having generally had the measure of his two-time F1 world champion teammate, Fernando Alonso. Ocon is riding a wave of confidence as a result of a new team behind him in the garage that dates back to his 2016 debut with Manor, including race engineer Josh Peckett and performance engineer Stuart Barlow, though they originally worked with Pascal Verlein. The result being a performance upswing for Ocon, with better car setups to get into the performance window sooner. And it shows, just on pure stats against the mercenary Alonso. Ocon has outqualified the double world champion 4-2 in qualifying across the first six events and beat him 4-1 in the races when they could be compared, while his Baku DNF forced a one-point deficit. It's a refreshing return to form for the Silver Arrows protege, who proved himself at Mana and Force India before the arrival of Lance Stroll forced him to spend a year on the sidelines as Mercedes Reserve. 2020, though, marked his highly anticipated return to then Renault last year in an epic matchup with Daniel Ricciardo. I'm excited. He looks hungry, um, very lean. I think he could do with a steak or two. Um, but uh, of course, I'm excited, you know, he's, he's young. and He's missed out a year and, and as you say, that, that hunger is, is gonna be there. And the Australian destroyed him, going 15 to two in qualifying and nine to three in the races when they could be compared. Ricardo also took the lion's share of valuable points, 117 to 62. But Ocon grabbed a maiden podium at the Sakia Grand Prix and went into 2021 with renewed confidence. I think we are in good shape. The car is an evolution of 2020, which is positive for us. Um, the team is expected to get into Q3. Uh, we had good rhythm, plus I got that podium feeling, um, which I loved, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm very keen to, to get that back. And while the car isn't as competitive as it was last year, Ocon is, with team boss Marcin Budkowski labeling him significantly improved. Enough for CEO Laron Rossi to enter talks for a contract extension for 2022 and perhaps beyond, making Enstone his likely home for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.